For the past 10 days, I've been using Autogen every day and I'm still really impressed and mind blown by its capabilities. So I decided to create a very beginner friendly step by step guide on how to run Autogen on your local computer. And in this video, I will really guide you. It will be slow paced. I will show you every single step you need to do to run it on your own. And I'm not going to go into the detail what Autogen actually is because I already I already have a video on that. So let me just move straight to the project and um, yeah, let's move on. So I already opened my uh, Visual Studio code and I've prepared a short uh, readme file with all the steps and I will give you this uh, file together with my uh, GitHub repository for this project. And your first step will be to create a new project folder, which I already have, Autogen Base. And then you just need to create a new virtual env. So I'm using Ubuntu 20 and this is a uh, terminal and I'm already on in my, in the folder, in this project folder. And I just assume you've got Python installed on your computer and I will create a new virtual env with Python env env and it's already created and you can see it because uh, this VN folder was generated here and then uh, I need to Okay, I need to correct that. I, I need to activate that. So I will go with source, uh, VN bin activate. Now it should be activated. Let's see with pip freeze. I don't have anything yet. And all I need to do is to install Autogen. And as, as a note, it's not pip install Autogen, it's py Autogen. So pip install py Autogen. Yeah. And it's installing. It will probably take a while to update. Uh, so the next step, while it's installing, I will just go to the next step which is creating this oai config list file and it i will just want to do it in the same folder so let me just uh, do it config and then a list and i was also in the previous video i told you uh, why we need uh, that but just as a reminder, that's where we store our OpenAI API keys and where we define the models we want to use. And this file uh, has a format of, a, has JSON format. So what we do, we start with a array and then we open uh, curly brackets and we define the model we will use. And today we'll use just a simple project. So let's go with GPT 3.5 Turbo. And then we will need API key here. Uh, so let me just check if uh, everything is installed. I think the uh, autogen is, I don't see an errors, any errors. So I assume it was installed successfully. And I see by autogen 0.1.11 is here. So we'll see in a second, uh, but coming back here. So we've got check, 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 check. And then we need to uh, create a new OpenAI API key. And for that, we go to, uh, to this link. Uh, it's the same one as here. And of course you need an OpenAI uh, API account for that. And in this API keys, you just click on create new secret key. 
let's call it auto autogen create you copy it immediately and then you just paste it here and save the file and once you click on done you won't be able to view it again so ensure that you copy immediately and click done if you forgot you just create this one uh, create a new one like delete and create a new one yeah but so we've got that cool so step six step seven is already there and let's just start creating with um autogen and we will build a very very basic project that has only the necessary and uh, necessary parts so i've created a, a basic.py uh, file and we'll start with importing autogen okay and click yes Okay, once we've got uh, Autogen, we need to think about the configuration. And again, we've got this configuration file. And to load it, we go with, we call the variable config list. And then we say Autogen config list from JSON. And then we paste this NFR file to B O A I uh, config list and save it here. Uh, so let me just add some comments and if you later actually use this code import open AI API key and then we need uh, and again I talked about it in the previous video, but uh, we will use just a basic uh, interaction between a user proxy and, and the assistant agent. So uh, we'll start with creating the assistant agent. So create assistant agent, create the assistant agent, and we call it just assistant. And it's again with Autogen, sorry, assistant agent, and we'll give him a name, assistant. And the other uh, thing we need to pass is the config, and we do it with LLM config. And then we just say config list is equal to our config list we've already defined. Okay, so we've got the assistant age agent and then we need the user proxy agent, which as a reminder works in on behalf of you as a user. So let's create, create the user proxy agent. And we do it uh, with Let's call him user proxy. And yeah, autogen user proxy agent. Uh, name equals a user proxy. And then we will specify the code execution config and in there we will specify working directory and let's call it yeah um, i don't know let's say result it's not very descriptive but let's use it and this code uh, this working directory when we will ask uh, the user uh, or our user pro uh, or our user proxy to save something somewhere we it will use a, a folder called results and although it's not existing here and it will create this folder 
and then we need to start a conversation or in initialize uh, the chat so let's just uh, say start the conversation and here we will say user proxy initiate chat and our helper will be assistant so here we define what kind of assistance we will need to use and then there is this message which is our user prompt uh, so i just say write a code to print odd numbers from sorry from two to one on one one on one 100. Okay, so that's a very basic uh, one, uh, example. And <clears throat> I just want to stop for a second here because I will ask um, the assistants to actually write code and we will run this code. And if you go to the documentation, uh, let me just uh, they say here this for code execution we strongly recommend installing the python docker package and using docker and i will create a video on how to do that how, how to use um how to use autogen with docker containers so make sure to subscribe to my channel and can expect this video like in a in a week or something but so but this is uh, this is very important and i wouldn't just ignore this message from from the authors however in our example we will write a very very basic code so i will just run it as it is without docker uh because it it's so simple it won't install any packages uh, so let's just you know uh, skip the docker part for now and let's just test how it works and that's the whole code and all we need to do to run it is to basically call the python and the name of our uh, file which is basic.py and yeah it's working like uh, write a code to print odd numbers from 2 to 100 and it's uh, the user proxy pass this message to assistant and the assistant return uh, and it's even said file name odd numbers and provide feedback to assistant press enter okay so it printed the odd numbers for me and yeah, so that's the very, very basic example. And, and because I wanted to keep this video very, very simple and very short, I will just end it here. That's all you need to run Autogen on your local machine. And if you just follow these steps, I will just leave them here uh, in the readme and I will and I will create a GitHub repository with this code so we can just run it on your own and follow the steps that I showed you. And that way you will have Autogen on your local machine. So I hope that's enough to get you started. And as I mentioned, I will uh, create videos on how to run and execute code with Docker. And I've got some more projects already running and I will create videos on all of them. So just Make sure to subscribe because you can expect much, much more content about Autogen and other AI agents. And not only that, everything related to large language models. So stay tuned and have a great time.